just a moment. Sure. Uh, we all know that the 90-day extension of the building freeze never came into being. Peace Now says that since the end of the 10-month settlement freeze, building in Israeli settlements has redoubled. Not true, says Naftali Bennett, who is the CEO of the Yesha Settlers Council. I spoke to him today. I wish that were true. In fact, the reality on the ground is that 75% of Judea and Samaria is big cities like Ariel, like Maale Dumim, Karnei Shomron, Efrat, they're frozen. As of now, not one house is being built in Efrat, not one house in Karnei Shomron, only one project in Ariel. So in fact, contrary to what is being told and being said, hardly any building is going on in the major cities of uh, Judea and Samaria. We've given the government a hundred days to deal with it. Unfortunately, they've not done anything, which means effectively the, the population is growing old and we're choking uh, the large cities. And there's no uh, argument that these places will, will always stay in Israel. Okay. Therefore, uh, we're embarking, the mayors of the large cities are embarking on a campaign asking the Prime Minister either force Ehud Barak to authorize building or revoke his power of authorization of building in Judea and Samaria. Okay, well he's unlikely to do that, as you know, so what happens then? Well, since Ehud Barak, in fact, is unlikely, he's not signing, he's not approving anything, we expect Netanyahu to revoke uh, Barak's power and take it to himself and, in fact, approve building in Ariel, in Maale Dumim, in uh, Efrat, in Karnei Shomron. And it's your view that the United States, that Europe, that the United Nations will allow the diplomatic deadlock to continue and that the Palestinian Authority will allow it to continue because that's not the way it's looking right now? I think there's only one option. You know, if you bash your head 20 times into a wall, perhaps the 21st time you say maybe there's a different way. Maybe it's time to look at things differently. And the good news is there is. I spend my days in Judea and Samaria. It's quiet, it's pros uh, prosperous for both the, the Jews and the Arabs alike. It's never been as good as it is right now. It's secure for the Jews and Arabs alike. So let's focus on making lives better. Why do the Arabs need to hit roadblocks all day? So let's remove them. Many of them have been removed. An Arab should be able to drive from Janin to Hebron without seeing Jews. We don't want to run their lives. We don't run their lives. They vote for their own government. They pay their own taxes. 97% of the Palestinians are governed by the Palestinian Authority. Let's strengthen that. Let's put aside all these final peace things that never bring peace. They only bring bloodshed. And let's focus on coexistence between the two peoples. You know what?